Hey guys, my name is Dibiri and it's time for another Sin Saturday. And I got a question quite a while ago and it was about how you can keep your breaks interesting. So I got a little chord progression over here in the piano and let's just make a short break of it and just do some things to keep it interesting. So a nice thing to start out with whenever you're making a track or a break is some form of chord so you can kind of have a structure. And uh, this is a little chord that I went for. And that's nice, but it might repeat a little bit too fast. So sometimes you can keep a break interesting by changing up some chords. And over here, if you, for example, put this one an octave lower, it's already going to change up that ending of the, um, yeah, the fourth repeating of the chords. So have a little listen. So that's already changing it up a little bit and that makes it a little bit more repeatable. So let's just put this in our um, playlist twice and this is going to be our um, entire break. So after this there will be a melody. I'm just going to quickly put some reverb on the piano and low cut it because that's all we need to do for the mix down of a piano. And now we need something to carry it. So we're gonna uh, maybe look for like a bass. And I sometimes like to use some preset bank or something to just find some inspiration for this. So I found myself a little bass preset and it's this one. It's a nice one and it just works together with the piano and that's literally all I'm looking for right now. So after this, you can decide what kind of rhythm you want to go for. So I think I'm already thinking this is some quite quick chords. So let's just add some uh, four by four rhythm on there with perhaps like a clap. And on that clap, I'm going to open up that um, clap channel strip that I have. And now when you have your clap, you can decide when you want that clap to come in. So um, when you have an entire break, you don't need to repeat sounds for the entire break. So I'm not gonna uh, put the clap in at the start already like this. Because then when you're getting at the end, you're just bored from the clap. So let's take away that first part and let's make the clap come in at the second part. So this is already a lot more um, interesting to listen to. And now I remember I have a Rhodes piano sound somewhere. So what I did in the second part over here was just adding a new layer to these chords. And it's just adding sounds and that makes it interesting as well. So then it's uh, even better to listen to. So then you can maybe um, put some more layers in the um, percussion side, for example. So let's take a club kick. I think this one might work. Let's cut it off and put it in there. Quick tip, if you want to maybe make some more groove and make your bass move together with your club kick, just put a little side chain on it and make it move. 
it's already just adding so much drive to this. Now along the way, when you're making your um, break bigger, you can maybe get inspired for some sort of melody or some counter rhythm onto your uh, break and just make a little sound with that and you can already create so much drive, groove and just make the break more interesting to listen to. So listen, over here I made this little chord melody thingy that's just going to play along with the other chords but it's kind of offbeat so that already makes it more interesting. And if you want to go even further, you can of course look up some more presets and get some more depth in here. So for example, by adding this extra plug, you can create more depth on that melody that you're putting in there. Now building on further upon that um, groove and drive that we're building, I found this sound. And this sound is just helping our groove. It's just um, putting an extra layer of rhythm in there and you can put this underneath the piano. Now if you really want to finish this groove part off, just add some kind of breakbeat rhythm and you're really going to be done. Now I mixed it down a little bit, I'm just going to um, put some automation in here to just make some things move a little bit and after that um, yeah, everything is done. So for example over here in the beginning I want to have a little hull kick and that hull kick is going to have a lot of lows so that's going to clash with our sub. And to solve that, I'm just going to take away our sub in the first little bit and make it come up over here. Just to make it start a little bit later. Then for the breakbeat rhythm, we're just going to quickly low pass it. So it's going to fade in a little bit. Over here. And we're going to give you some reverb. So that it blends in a little bit better. And for our um, offbeat chords, we're going to automate the cutoff. So then it just progresses a tiny bit, but that progression is going to help us with um, creating an interesting break to listen to. If you want to see me continuing this break, just let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you learned something from this and I'll see you back soon again. Cheers!